I did a search online because I wanted to compare different file compression formats that are available in Linux and I didn't see any documentation online that I was really satisfied with so what I decided to do was to experiment myself and I'm going to share those findings that I did with you guys right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and open up my file manager and I'm going to go into my documents folder. Now, in my documents folder, uh, I have, you know, some assorted things in here. Uh, notably, uh, NWN for Neverwinter Nights and FS2 for the Free Space 2 source code project. And these are games that have native ports. And basically, I purchased these games from goodoldgames.com, and then I went online and downloaded the Linux binaries so that I could get these working. And I had to configure everything to work properly. I decided rather than, you know, keeping the good old games installer, I decided that it would probably be better if I just compressed the archive for the Linux binaries and all the configura configuration files that I made, so that if I decide to reinstall a different version of Linux at a later time, I'll be able to use these without having to go through all of that work. And one thing that you can do is you can right-click on a folder and select compress if you have file roller installed and what happens is the file roller dialog comes up it gives you the option to choose which file format you wish to use depending on which algorithms you have installed for file compression as well as the ability to specify other options such as password protecting your file uh, encrypting the file list and uh, volume management. How small do you want to make these so that maybe you can store this on multiple CDs or DVDs? But today's scope is just on the file formats themselves, not whether you should password protect uh, your files. If you have sensitive data, obviously you would want to do that. But we're going to be uh, basically going over the major ones here. Now, since I use this for compressing archives like games or maybe uh, I'll, I, if I have a bunch of pictures that I want to you know from a, an event that I want to store in a compressed archive this is a wonderful way to do it so let's go into my folder for compression and you'll see here I have a folder called GameX and I have a number of files that I've already compressed because this took some time the GameX directory, if I right click on it and go into properties here, you're going to see that I have 17 items totaling 374.2 megs of data. Now, this is just a bogus directory. Within this directory, I have a bunch of different types of files so that I could have a good experiment here. And within this, I have a binary uh, or a game file, if you will. Uh, I have a cab file or a compressed archive that that game may need that would have all of its assets. Of course, a game directory would probably also have a PNG file or other image files that are uh, in a non-compressed format. A load of different text files and maybe other media files. In this case, uh, I threw in a few VPs from the Free Space 2 campaign. Uh, as I figured that might be fun for this test. And of course, maybe an intro movie um, would be included in there along with INI and other text files. So that's what makes up our little experimental uh, directory here. And when you right click on this and select compress, you have all of these different options here. Now, what I went ahead and did was I compressed all of these and I noticed that with each compression method, uh, the smaller the file size, the longer it took to make the archive. Now, um, obviously, let's go ahead and uh, select a different view here so that you can view these in a list. And I'm going to organize these by size. Now, um, the largest size here 
at 374.2 megabytes is tar. So basically this didn't do any compression at all in this exercise when I decided to uh, make an archive. It just put everything into a single file. Now there is another uh, compression format out there called ARJ. And that has been around for a long time. And this one made a file slightly uh, smaller, or a little bit smaller anyway, than the tar file. And then we have a Tar Gazette, which did a 233.1, yet even smaller. Zip beat out Tar Gazette in this experiment and uh, made the file down to 226.7 megs. However, I did notice that Tar Gazette seemed to, uh, when I was uh, doing this and I was using my little stopwatch, uh, that the target Z went a little bit faster than the zip algorithm, but not much. Okay, and then next, another common compression format is RAR. And I used to use RAR all the time when I was running in Windows. And I noticed that made yet an even smaller file size at 218.8 megabytes, where our original was 374.2. Now, here's a format that I'm seeing all the time on Linux websites, and this is tar.bz2. And this one compressed to 217.4 megs, which is an excellent result. So I see why a lot of uh, you know Linux developers are using this file format, because it appears that it's giving a really good compression method, and I can see why it's being used. Now, I read another article online, online stating that the tar.lzma has an, an impressive compression algorithm, and I can see why, because this actually made a file at 207.5 megs. Now, here's something of interest. I see a lot of uh, people distributing files online in 7-zip format. And this one did a nice job as well, compressing 374.2 megs down to 207.4. Very interesting. But the best result that won them all is uh, tar.exe that did a compression of 207.3 megabytes. Now, uh, the thing is though, the tar.exe file format, while it did create the smallest file, it also took the longest amount of time. This For this particular file, this took about, uh, about five minutes to compress. Now, one thing of interest is I used the TAR XZ uh, to make my archives of the uh, Free Space 2 and the Neverwinter Nights. And one thing of interest that I found was I have 13 gigs of Free Space 2 open source project content on my drive and I, I just let this run overnight and it compressed uh, 13 gigs of data down into a five and a half gig file so we're talking about from this down to this which I thought was really cool but in the case of Neverwinter's Nights uh, that same file format only gave it about half size in terms of compression so your mileage may vary with the different results here I'm not saying any one of these is better I'm just showing a comparison in an experiment that I did with the uh, file formats and uh, when and I read an article that said the tar XZ does the best compression so I figured I'd put that to the test and in this case it really did do that and tar XZ is the is the um, format I think I'm going to be using for archiving my data but the thing is if you want something tarred or something just stored in a single archive without compression uh, tar does an excellent job of that and it does it really fast mm -hmm.